Shalom Ya Sharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the few Aqua that are listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled He hath swallowed down riches And he shall vomit them up again Okay And that's exactly what this devil um, A.K.A. Esau Edom Has done Alright He has swallowed down uh, 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 All the riches of the world You know He's got all the gold and the silver But really the main riches that he's got Are, 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 are uh, uh, the children of Israel man You know You 12 tribes You Negroes, Latinos And Native Americans man Baruch 3 and 8 says um, <clears throat> We are still yet this day In our captivity Alright We are still in captivity Alright Subject to payment Alright We're still uh, uh, The first one's fired Last one's hired Alright We're still living that situation right now man And that's because we are underneath these devils Okay But, but what Esau Edom doesn't realise Or What he doesn't want to accept is that There's going to come a time in which he's going to have to repay that back, man. Okay? He's going to have to pay for all his sins, all his crimes. He's going to have to, uh, uh, um, um, you know, well, he's not going to give the Heavenly Father <clears throat> uh, the children of Israel. He's not going to give it unto the Heavenly Father. You know, we're literally going to have to be saved, man. Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. We're going to have to, uh, uh, in order to be saved We're going to have to be a part of the strangeness Of his salvation man Alright Because this devil ain't going to give us up Okay So you know um, <clears throat> Excuse me That's what I'm going to be touching on in this lesson And uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm going to just get straight into the precepts man let's, let, let's just get into it right away man This is Isaiah chapter 14 And um, verse 21 And it reads Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers And you know you got these Israelites These Israelites so like, You got these Edomites who Pretty much have the argument of Oh but that's what my, 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 my forefather did That was my great 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 grandfather That had you in slavery That, that wasn't me Well listen man let's, let's, let's bring this Let's break down the scripture a bit deeper So it says prepare slaughter for his children Your children That represents you In, in your future life all right, for the iniquity of their fathers that represents you in your former life. Because um, the scriptures also say how <clears throat> something to the effect of how uh, 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 the sons shall not pay for the sins of their fathers. All right, so so um, um, you ain't gonna pay for the sins that your father committed. You're gonna pay for the sins that you committed, man. Okay, whether that be in your your current lifetime or in your next life. Okay, but we know every third and fourth generation, the spirits are brought back here on earth, man. So, you know, you, you live your life, you do whatever, you die, you appear before the judgment seat of the Heavenly Father in the heavens. You know, you're giving your judgment. Three to four generations later, you're brought back through the line of your family, man. That's how, that's reincarnation. Okay, the scriptures does teach reincarnation, man. Okay, reincarnation is biblical. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me So let's read that again Isaiah chapter 14 and 21 um, Prepare slaughter for his children For the iniquity of their fathers That they do not rise Nor possess the land Nor fill the face of the world with cities Alright so You Edomites Are never going to be put back in the power seat again You're never going to fill the uh, uh, Um <clears throat> Fill the face of the world with cities, you know, you got America, alright, you got these other countries, you got the United Kingdom, so on and so forth. Yeah, that, that's never gonna happen again, man. Alright, you Edomites are gonna serve your thousand years of slavery, and after the thousand years of slavery in our kingdom, you're gonna be Obadiah 118, man. You're gonna be done away with, burnt to a crisp, never to uh to see an uh, Edomite ever again. Okay? Let's read on. And that's true, um, um, what's that word, man? 
that they're using the word rest uh, uh, reparations that's it that's true reparations man when you're done away with okay you like to make all these uh different species of animals extinct well you're going to become extinct yourself man okay verse 22 for i will rise up against them saith the lord of hosts and cut off from babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew saith the lord you're going to be utterly done away with man okay you just wait and see your judgment man you know you thought because judgment against an evil work isn't executed speedily therefore your heart is fully set to do evil man roughly paraphrasing ecclesiastes 8 and 11 all right but you're certainly going to pay for your sins man okay verse 23 um i will make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water and i will sweep it with the besom of destruction save the lord of hosts and that's what's going to happen to modern day babylon man which we can equate it to be in america okay the land of america is going to be completely destroyed man never to be inhabited by man again that's going to be a staple point in our kingdom you know we're going to be flying over it in our chariots with our families and we're going to say yeah man this is where this is the land where we served the worst captivity our worst ever captivity was served in this land because in our previous captivities we knew who we was we knew the name of our power in this captivity though you you know uh, uh um <clears throat> we we uh we, we you know we was beaten out of our heritage you know we was um taught a different name you know we have to call on jesus christ now okay that was whipped into us man they literally made us forget who we are now you got jake's talking about oh i'm african oh i'm caribbean Oh, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, I'm Mexican. I'm Brazilian. I'm Colombian. You know, I'm Dominican. All that nonsense, man. That's not who you are, man. You need to look at the 12 tribes chart, man, and identify with your tribe, man. Okay, get back that history that Esau Edom has taken away from you. Right? <clears throat> so let's read on. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 24. The Lord of hosts have sworn saying surely as i thought so shall it come to pass and i have purposed sorry and as i have purposed so shall it stand okay so so this is the will of the heavenly father this is what you know esau would like to call manifest destiny were well, you going into captivity under the israelites for a thousand years and then your whole nation the whole house house of esau being eradicated after that that's manifest destiny man how about that for some humble pie right uh verse 25 then will i break the assyrian and the edomites of your modern day assyrians then i will break the assyrian in my land and upon my mountains tread upon him underfoot then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders all right so so you know once once um we receive the salvation and and this devil's kingdom is destroyed the children of israel beginning with the elect are going to be liberated man okay <clears throat> we're going to get our freedom back we're going to get our power back we're going to be in the good graces of the lord once again all right all at the destruction of esau edom that's the perfect balance man as Elder Apostle Gobar went into in uh, uh, last Saturday's uh, uh, camp, uh, what did he say? He said something to the effect of the Lord is bringing the destruction of this kingdom and at the same time bringing the salvation of his elect. And, and, and that's the perfect balance, man. Okay, we know that the Lord, uh, a false balance is, a, is an abomination unto the Lord. Okay, and that's, that's the perfect balance right there. Okay. <clears throat> let's read on verse 26 that this is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations all right so all these other nations are going to become our subjects man beginning with the nation of edom okay because this is the will of the heavenly father and this is this is this is his story man this is how is meant to go 
okay? And we're going to be in perpetual rulership forever once that's done, okay? Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, <clears throat> the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So Esau, Edom... Doesn't matter how much he advances in his technology, which really and truly is all of is it's all of the Lord anyway. Doesn't matter how far he gets with his MOTB. There's a set date, time, month, year, second, in which he's uh, 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 prophesied to fall. His kingdom is prophesied to fall at that time, that hour that only the heavenly Father knows, man. Not even Yahweh Shai, not even the angels in heaven know of that hour man but the heavenly father yahweh knows and that's what makes it all the most exciting man because imagine we were sit out here doing the work but we knew on this specific day time month whatever esau is gonna fall well that kind of makes you lose your edge a bit man you know there's power in mystery okay and and we serve a very mysterious power, man. As much as we know of the Lord, there's a lot we don't know about the Lord as well, man. Okay? And that's how it's supposed to be. Even even when it comes to dealing with women, man. You know, you, you don't want a woman to know absolutely everything about you, man. Because then, then you lose that mystery, man. You lose that charm. Okay? If we knew exactly when this devil would be destroyed, we'd go into the attitude of, yeah, I don't really need to do the work right now, you know, but because he's going to get destroyed at this date and time. When that time gets closer, then that's when I will start going a bit. No, man. Okay, so this allows us to keep our edge. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's read on. Job 14 and 6. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day. So it's almost as if the Lord has pretty much hired out Esau Edom to, to, to fulfill his wicked purpose. Just so that he can be destroyed, just so that he can be an example onto, onto uh, uh, um, um, all of us, man, onto the nation of Israel and onto the other nations. That this is what happens when you rule in perpetual wickedness, man. This is the reward. Okay, Esau was hired out for that specific purpose, right? Nothing more, nothing less. And then to go into captivity right after for a thousand years, and then to be eradicated, man. Okay, let's go to uh, Isaiah 47. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47. Read us more about just stopping right in front of the car, man. <laughs> you know? Uh, this is Isaiah 47, and we'll start at verse 6, and it reads, I was wroth with my people. Yeah, the Heavenly Father was wroth with his people, man, the Israelite, because we wouldn't hearken unto him, all right? Scriptures say how we are hard-headed, stiff-necked people, man, okay? It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance. And given them into thine hand, thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou verily hate, hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Alright, so Esau didn't care if he was elderly, man. He didn't care how old you was, man. If you was an Israelite, right, you're in your 90s, you're in your 80s, whatever, man. You're, you're going to be, what's expected of you is the same as what's expected of a young Israelite, man. In his 20s, 30s, you know, more virile, more full of life, all right? You was expected to, you know, perform the same way, man, all right? And Esau got to pay for that, man. Esau, and, and he will pay for that, okay? Verse 7, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. And, 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 and that's the spirit that you mainly notice on these Americans, man. They, they believe that they're always going to be in the, uh, uh, um, um, a lady forever, meaning they ain't going to be touched. Ain't no wickedness going to come upon them. Ain't no recompense going to come upon them. 
All right, they they just get to be wicked, and 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 there's no consequence for that. That's the mindset that these Americans have, man. These Edomites, especially the Americans, have, man. Okay. Let's read verse 7 again. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. So Esau forgot that you're going to have this time period where you can be a lady for a while, but then there's going to be a time where you're going to have to pay for your sins, man. There's going to be a recompense. There's going to be a time where you're going to lose your kingdom. You're going to lose your power. You're going to lose your status. You're going to lose your riches. But they didn't consider the latter end. Okay, but, but now, just like how when we was being wicked, uh, um, in, in, when we had the power, we, we didn't consider our latter end, man. We didn't consider that we was going to go into captivity under all these nations for not hearkening unto the Heavenly Father, man. We didn't consider it. Same way Esau Edom ain't considering it, man. So it is where it is, man. It is what it is, okay? Let's go to James chapter 5. <clears throat> we're going to start at the top. James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Because um, what does it say in 2nd Ezra 8 and 50? For many great miseries shall be done on earth to, uh, to them that dwell in the latter times, man. Many great miseries, not some, not a few, many. Okay? And you rich men who, you know, you wear it all nice and everything is sweet. Right now, many great miseries are getting ready to come upon you, man. You best believe that. Okay? What does it say in Proverbs 11 and 4? It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Okay? And, and having the true understanding of this Bible as an Israelite, that makes you righteous, man. Because we're still in this wicked flesh. We keep the law, statutes and commandments, though, to the best of our abilities. But we understand we're not justified by that, man. Okay? So this truth is what makes us righteous. Let's read on. Verse, having an understanding of this truth. Calling on the true names. Okay? James 5 and 2. Your riches are corrupted. And your garments are moth-eaten, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. And, and, and you know, because you got Esau, these wicked elites hoarding all the gold, all the silver, they fed you this fake money, this paper currency, alright? But it's all going to come backfiring on them, man. They think they're going to be able to... Uh, Invest in these uh, expensive bunkers. Invest into hiding uh, uh, um, in the in the upper atmosphere, you know, in the, in the, within the heavens to try and escape their judgment, man. But if, if, even if you do escape the judgment, you're just going to be the first fruits of slavery, man. Really and truly, okay. Um, verse four: Behold, the hire of the laborers, and 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 the Lord is cold with it, man. Because these wicked elite devils, man, they're getting old. They're not even getting old. They are old, man. All right? And these are the same devils that are going to survive World War III. They're going to survive this nuclear attack because they're going to be in, in, their, in their nuclear bunkers, but they ain't going to be in the land of America. They're going to be in, um, uh, 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 in different lands all over the world, some of them in the upper atmosphere, up in the heavens. All right? And, and and just like how he had no mercy upon uh no re he made no reference whether he was old or young, it's the same thing that's gonna happen with these devils, man. Cause these devils are, are 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 getting old they're old man. Don't even think about it. These devils are old man, okay? And uh they're gonna go into captivity in their old ass age. Alright, that's recompense, okay? <clears throat> Verse 4 Behold The hire of the labourers Who have reaped down your fields Which is of you kept back by fraud Because we're kept back by fraud man You know With this paper money These FRNs 
And this system, which is designed to work against the Israelites, man, this system works against us. So we are kept back by fraud, man. Because really and truly, we have the true riches, beginning with this word, beginning with this wisdom. Romans 11 and 33, okay? So back to James 5 and 4. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, criers. And the cries of them, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, right? Which, um, um, this is the troops of the Heavenly Father, man, that, that heavenly army, the Lord of, of, of Sabaoth, all right? Going into that heavenly army, man, the angels, right? They're, they're the ones that's going to fight for us. They're the ones that are going to, that are waging war against this devil, man. Revelation talks about how the dragon and his angels and, 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 and Michael and his angels fought, right? And, and how the dragons and his angels prevailed not. That's going, the dragon and his angels is going into Esau and his, and his, and his uh, military fighter jets, man. They ain't going to prevail against the chariots of the Lord, which the world would call uh, uh, UFOs, okay? Which are uh, controlled by the angels, man, the holy angels, okay? Reading on verse 5, Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. So, you know, you devils, have, uh, you've got to experience the fatness of the earth. You get to live your best life. You know, most of you devils don't even really work that hard, man. But you, you got, you got, you got, uh, um, um, you got enough disposable income, though. And you use that. You travel the world. You do this. You enjoy your life. And we're gonna get into that as well, you know. But, but you know, as they say in the world, all good things come to an end, right? But you didn't consider your latter end. You see. Um, verse six. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. Yeah, man, you know, um, just like that story that I heard happen in America where you had this young Jake boy, he knocked on the wrong door, and this Edomite came out and blasted him in his head, shot him two times, man. Word, word on the street, he survived. But that just goes to show you, man, you just condemn and killed the just, and, and we ain't gonna fucking do anything to you, man. But you just do it anyway. Because you're in power. This is your kingdom. Right? But, but you know, what goes around comes around, man. Okay? Verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. And, and that's what we're doing, man. We are suffering patiently. All right? We know this is not our rest. And we're seeking the kingdom to come, man. We don't want to make it here in Esau, Edom society. This, this kingdom ain't got nothing good to offer us, man. Really and truly. You've got nothing good to offer us here. So, um, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruits of the earth, precious fruit of the earth. <coughs> so lucky. Excuse me. And I've long patience for it. And received the early and latter rain. Right? Because we're, we're patiently waiting for the kingdom of heaven to be established, man. We were patiently waiting for Esau to be yanked out of the power seat. Okay? And and, and, and really and truly, there ain't nothing better to do, man. Because we know that this world is temporary. There's no point seeking temporary fixes when what we're seeking for, what we're fighting for, is a permanent position. Okay? Verse 8. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth night. And we see all the signs, man. We see all the signs that the Lord is near. The day of the Lord is near. Okay, there's no denying it, man. There's too many things happening. Prophecies are popping off the pages like popcorn, man. You know, there's, there's too much happening, man. You've got uh, Israelites waking up to this truth all over the world, man. You know, the elect are waking up. Okay, you got men... Uh, uh, out there on the highways and the byways Teaching the truth and sincerity Again, all over the world, man So these are all signs You got you got uh, these chariot sightings ramping up 
okay? You got uh, wars and rumors of wars. Everything is going according to how the, the scripture said it would, man. All right, so, so you know, we're just suffering patiently, man. We're just waiting patiently until uh, uh, the Lord returns to redeem us, okay? Let's go to Job chapter 20 and verse 10. His children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. Yeah, because, uh, you know, you got uh, uh, these younger Edomites today who uh, acknowledge what our people went through. And pretty much what we're still going through, even though now it's on a more subtle level, it's not as intense as it was during the hardcore slavery we were serving in uh, 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 Babylon the Great. Okay? But we're still... As Baruch 3 and 8 says, we are still yet this day in our captivity, right? But, you know, you've got these younger Edomites who acknowledge what's happened to our people and they try and do of us a bit nicer, try and be a bit more, you know, uh, a bit more gentle, a bit more understanding, a bit more f friendly and kind, all right? But it's not going to work, man, because at the end of the day, you was you was a part of the problem, man. You, you, uh, in your past life, you had your way with us, all right? It's just that, as the scripture says, you know, you will have no remembrance of the former things, but, but that's, that, that is the case, man. So you're still going to have to fucking pay. None of that bullshit, oh, it was my forefather, it was my great-great-granddad, fuck all of that, man. You're going to have to pay, man, because that was you. <laughs> that was you, man. Damn. So, like, I had to, I had to say it like that, man. Reincarnation is biblical, man. All right. Why do you think you meet certain people in this world, and it's like you you've known them all your life? It's like you it's like it's the first time you meet them, but it feels like like damn, like you know you be around the brotherhood, and 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 you just feel like like you known these brothers all your life, man. Because if we be a part of the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we are, then we would have known them all our lives, man. We would have been with them. With Yahweh Shai, in the beginning, when the heavens and earth were being created, man. That, that's powerful. That is powerful. Kahalayim la Yahweh ba Hashem Shai. Lord willing, we be of the elect, man. Okay? But let's read on. Verse 11. His bones are full of sin. Are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. So you can't escape what you've done, man. And even... <laughs> To add another perspective as well, I mean, even even your own, um, 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 you know, the colour of your skin, the fact that you have no pigment, that is a, what's the word, man? What's the word that I'm looking for? That is a, uh, a physical manifestation of, 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 of pretty much you being filled with sin, man. Because even the way you look, to look like that is a sin. How about that? To look like an Edomite, to look like you're leprous, that is a sin, man. Cause, because you're unclean, okay? You're unclean, man. Your bones are full of sin, right? That was you in your past life, man. None of that nonsense, grand, great grandfather. No, man, that was you, homie, okay? Verse 12. And you know what? Let, let, let me actually get this in the NLT, man, just for edification. You bring up my blue letter. Where are we? We're in Job. Job. Tony. Let's read Job 20. And we're going to start at verse 10 again in the NLT. Their children will beg from the poor, for they must give back their stolen riches. Though they are young, their bones will lie in the dust. They enjoyed the sweet taste of wickedness, letting it melt under their tongue. So yeah, they don't let these devils, oh yeah, try and convince you, oh yeah, oh, we feel so bad uh, for what we did to you. Uh, all that nonsense, man. They, they took fucking pleasure in, in having their way with the sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father, man. They, they, they loved it, man. They, they hate when certain facts 
of acts they was doing during slavery. They hate when certain facts come out, but but you know, because they're embarrassed, like buck breaking for example. But that doesn't change the fact that you were still doing that, bro. Like this is the fucking devil we're talking about, man. Okay. They enjoyed the sweet taste of wickedness, letting it melt under their tongue. Verse 13, they savoured it, holding it long in their mouths. So you continued in that wickedness, man. You be trying to act like, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, sorry, ah, oh, yeah, we feel so terrible, ah. Yeah, right. Okay. If it weren't for prophecy, you Edomites will have us in perpetual slavery, man. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai coming to redeem us, you would never let us go, man. You would never let us go free, man. Let's be real, man. It's only now you see your back's now uh, uh, against the wall. Now you want to act like, you know, you feel bad for what you've done. You don't feel bad, man. You don't feel bad. But you will feel bad once that judgment comes upon you, man. You ain't going to like how you're feeling then. When your stomach touching your back. Okay. Verse 14. But suddenly, the food in their bellies turned sour. A poisonous venom in their stomach. So now, like, all these facts about slavery comes out. And, and our people are waking up to who they are. And even you Edomites are waking up to who we are. All right? Because the wicked elites, they know who we are. But I'm talking about your average Joe Edomite. You're now waking up to who we are and now that history that you once took great pride in, now it's become a, a shame on you. It's become a reproach. Now you don't want to acknowledge it no more. But you're, you're going to fully acknowledge it when, when, when that judgment <clears throat> rains down on you, man. Because the scriptures say how your sins shall be your accusers in that day so everyone is going to be judged according to their works man that's just the truth okay verse 15 they will vomit the wealth they swallowed the most high won't let them keep it down so you're gonna to have to vomit up your riches the gold the silver the children of israel the kingdom of heaven all right we're coming you know yahweh shai he's gonna destroy your kingdom man Okay, you have a shine the holy angels and, and that's you through, man. So you're going to cough it all up. Okay. In the KJV, Job, 50, Job 20 and 15, he hath swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly, man. Okay. The Most High is, is going to make you cough it up, man. All right. You ain't taking nothing with you. You ain't taking nothing with you, man. You, you know, you're going to have no substance left. Nothing to give on to your, 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 uh, your, 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 your grandchildren, man. The only thing you're going to have to give to your grandchildren is, 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 is slavery, man. Captivity. Suffering. You wait and see what the children of Israel are going to do to you Edomites in the kingdom, man. Because remember, we're, we're, we're going to have spiritual power in the kingdom, man. So the ways we're going to be judging you is going to be so out of this world. Not even Marvel movies could compare to the way we're going to be dealing with you, man. Not even our own imaginations can compare to the way we're going to be dealing with you, man. But just know, man, when we, when we get that spiritual power, we're going to have fun using it on you, man. We're going to be rehearsing certain things, you know, certain ways we want to do things on you, man. You're going to be the fucking, the punching bag in the kingdom, man. Oh, yeah, you want to let off some steam. Let me, let me just go to the plantation for me to fuck these Edomites up, man. Isaiah 33 and 18, Dan Hart shall meditate terror, man. We, we, every day, right, I be thinking about how I want to fucking destroy you Edomites, man. I'll be honest with you, man. And that's, that's, that's the man in their right mind. Because cause what, how, how is it? You got these, these so-called white people who have enslaved your people, right? Whipped you into submission, whipped the true name of your power out of you, right? And uh, really and truly, remember, these are your subjects, man. 
These nations were created for our sakes. I believe that's in 2nd Ezra 6. Yeah, we're subjects under them. And how are you telling me you just want to sit there? Oh, yeah. Oh, Esau's a changed man now. They're not like that anymore. No, 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 no. Isaiah 33 and 18. Thine heart shall meditate terror, man. You best believe brothers in this truth be thinking about how we're going to have our way with you devils, man. Yeah, the other nations are going into captivity, but the main enemy of the nation of Israel is the Edomites, man. The so-called white people. And our, we might feel like we're angry now, but our anger is going to be perfected because we're going to have the Lord's anger within us, man. And you best be, look, look, Psalm 7. The, the Most High is angry with the wicked every day, man. It's been like that for how many years now, man? So you can only imagine what the wrath of the Lord is going to be like, man. One thing I'll say for sure, I most certainly, uh, I wouldn't want to be you Edomites, man. I wouldn't want to be you Edomites. That's for sure, man. All right. Let's jump down to verse 22. Excuse me. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And this is wicked, lowercase w. And this word in the Hebrew is aimal, which goes into, you know, the workers, the laborers, you know, your nine to fivers, your average those, those ones who are, you know, in the system, man. And, 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 and you know, um, the word straits is S-T-R-A-I-T-S, meaning he's going to be in a position of difficulty, man. Because when he's going to try and establish this M-O-T-B, it's going to be met with a lot of resistance, man. A lot of people ain't going to bow down to the will of this devil, man. All right? So he's going to be in a lot of position of difficulty. He's trying to get this MOTB mandatory. Okay. Uh, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eaten. So just when he thinks, ah, oh, yeah, you know, it was hard, but we finally established our kingdom. We finally implemented the MOTB. Let's make a toast to that. That's when his kingdom's going to come crashing down and burn him, man. So all praises be to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay. This is all manifest destiny, as Esau likes to say, man. Okay. It is where it is, man. It is where it is. All right. And uh, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, man. Which you really and truly... You gotta read the whole chapter, man. This chapter's bad, man. You, know, you, you gotta read this. If you wanna know how these devils think, read Wisdom of Solomon chapter two, man. And if that don't piss you off, if that don't make you a blood boil, may, maybe this thing ain't for you, man. But right, let's read it. Uh Wisdom of Solomon two. For the ungodly for the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright. Our life is short and tedious. And in the death of a man there is no remedy, neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. For we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke, and a little spark in the moving of our hearts. So yeah, man, when these devils come back, they ain't coming back as kings, priests, wicked elite. Nah, man, they're coming back as slaves, man. They're coming back as subjects, servants and handmaids, right? Verse 3, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. And our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. Because, you know, when this kingdom gets destroyed, it's going to be as if Esau Edom never even ruled, man. It's going to be like Esau Edom didn't even rule in the first place, man. You see? And um, then what? After their thousand years of captivity, they're going to be completely done away with, man. Look what the Lord done with the, the ancient Egyptians, man. Your modern day Hamites. Look, look who they are. Look who they are today. Those, you know, the, the really, 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 really dark skinned people that dwell in the land of Africa, the land of Ham. Those are the true Africans, man. 
That's why when you Jates be talking about your African, you look like a you look like a bozo, man. You ain't no fucking African, man. You are a Hebrew Israelite. Okay? And um those those um Hamites you see, look at them today, man. Those were the ancient Egyptians, man. One of the greatest kin kingdoms. You know, the kingdom of Egypt, man. Mizraim. Right? That those were the, 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 the Hamites that were ruling, man. Yet yeah, look at the Hamites today, man. Who 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 references these Hamites today, man? They're nobodies, man. That's what's getting ready to happen to Esau Edom, man. That's why it says, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, man. We ain't gonna remember you you devils, man. You know? We ain't gonna you ain't, you ain't gonna be shit in the kingdom, man. That's in fact you are you, you're gonna be shit in the kingdom. You're gonna be a piece of shit in the kingdom, man. Okay. Verse five, wisdom of Solomon two and five. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning. For it is far sealed that no man cometh again. So they know their destiny, man, and they're trying to work against the prophecies, man. They go, they're trying to use AI and all sorts of different things to counteract the prophecies, man. But listen, man. Uh, uh, the word of the heavenly father doesn't go out void Isaiah 55 and 11 So if the Lord has purposed That you're going into captivity For a thousand years And after the thousand years You're going to be done away with Obadiah 118 Then there's nothing you can do about it man There's literally nothing you can do about it It was prophesied We was going into slavery Was there anything we could do about it? No Manifest destiny right? Where was I? So let me read verse 5 again, because now it's getting juicy. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning. For it is far sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Alright? And that's what these devils do, they just use the people, man. They've created this, this whole system. You know, this matrix. And they just use the people, man. And then they tax them. All right? Here you are. You give up most of your life, most of your week, most of your time. Slaving in uh, Esau, Edom's world. And you barely get no time for yourself, man. You got three, you got uh, 365 days in a year. But you're only entitled to, what, 27 days off? The fuck is that, man? That ain't living. And, and then our people say, ah, oh, yeah, I'm not a slave. I'm not in bondage. Yes, you fucking are. Yes, you are. Okay. Verse 7. And this is this is the mind of the Edomites. Remember that as I'm reading this. This is this is how they think. Beginning with these elites. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 7. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and oint ointments, and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown us ourselves with rosebud. Before they be withered Let us Let none of us Go Without his part of voluptuousness Which I believe is um, That I might go into this word in a while man let, 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 Let's pull uh, Let's pull the, uh, the definition of this word up real quick I can't be bothered to type Voluptuousness meaning It means Full of delight or pleasure to the senses. Conduct conducive to or arising from sensuous or sensual gratis gratification. Luxurious. Luxurious. A voluptuous dance. Given to or spent in enjoyment of luxury. Pleasure. Or sensual gratifications. That don't, that don't sound like the, the Israelites to me. The Israelites to me uh, uh, are getting gunned down in the streets. Are in low living conditions. Struggling to make it by. Suffering under the curses. That sound like the Edomites to me, man. Full of delight or pleasure to the senses, man. So let's go back. Wisdom of Solomon. And the time is 555 right now, man. Lord willing, we get that spiritual power, man. You know, Lord willing. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 9. Let none of us go without 
is part of voluptuousness. So n none of them go without their delight or pleasure to the senses, man. And these Edomites, they living it up, man. As I mentioned earlier, it's like they, they don't even work that hard. But somehow they got enough disposable income, go on holidays all the time. They're doing this, they're doing that. They live in the nicer areas, nicer house, nicer cars. So on and so forth, man. Let none of us go without his part of, of, of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. For this is our portion and our lot is this. All right, so these Edomites know that this is their time to rule, man. This is their time to enjoy the fatness of the earth. But eventually, the tables are going to turn. And that's the bit that they don't like to remember, that they don't like to forget. Which, to be honest with you, I hear that. I hear that. If I was in power, I was hearing that after a certain amount of time, I'm going into captivity and I'm going to have to uh, submit to those that I've been in power over. I'd hate to hear that as well. I'll be completely honest with you, man. I would hate to hear that. But again, it's manifest destiny, man. It is what it is. That's why I made, I did that lesson yesterday. Be grateful you're an Israelite, man. Because if I was to be an Edomite and wake up to this reality... Well, why do you think Lamentations 4 and 21 says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, man. You're meant to, you Edomites, you, you, could, you got to live it up now, man. you got to live it up because, boy, your next stop is, is calamity, man. Death, destruction, slavery. That's your next stop, man. Okay. Verse 10. Let us oppress the poor, Righteous man, let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient grey hairs of the aged. All right, so they, they don't care if you're Israelite, old or young. They don't care, man. Everyone gets dealt with unjustly. Okay? Everyone gets dealt with unjustly, man. Okay? And um, I'm going to stop it there, you know, but really and truly... Um, it's a good chapter to read in your own time You know, if, 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 if I was to keep reading on Then I'm going to get into Wisdom of Solomon 3 as well Because Wisdom of Solomon 3 just goes with it perfectly And then, you know But I think I pretty much made the point, man So, so this devil, he has swallowed down riches But he's going to have to cough it up, man Alright You know, uh, we're, we're almost home We're almost about to be redeemed from the grips of Esau, Edom, we just got to hang in there, man. You know, there, there, there's nothing, uh, uh, there's nothing better we can do but just to wait on the Lord's timing, man. Okay? So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.